Hi guys, so I wanted to show you a little problem that I've been having. Um, I just tracked the scene in After Effects and I want to show you the solution for this. Um, and I want to take this camera, this tracked camera, into Maya um, so that we could just add some 3D geometry in Maya. So the problem that we've got, um, obviously this is not a great track at all. Um, and you can see the uh, tracked camera up here. Um, uh, but yeah, I would recommend doing your 3D tracking in a different software. But you know, this is just going to be something quick and dirty. So we've got this little uh, plane tracked, and I'm going to try and take this stuff into Maya. So we've got the uh, Maya Live Link uh, running in both scenes. So let's just have a look. Actually, let's see if we've got the After Effects Live Link. There we go. So we've got the After Effects Live Link and the Maya Live Link. Some of you might not even know this is possible, but uh, there you go. So, with the live link switched on, which you can obviously get to from, um, actually, I've opened a can of worms here because I can't remember how to uh, uh, open up the live link. There we go, extensions, or this one. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to get a camera and we're going to drag that into this little area here. Done. And we're going to drag this solid as well. You can drag as many solids as you want if you've created them. So if we jump over to Maya now, and I'll just get the outliner open, drag that in here. You can see we've got the AE tracked camera and the solid. And I'm just going to scale that up a bit. And I'm just going to jump into the camera tracker. Uh, yep, so there we go. There's our tracked bit of footage. I'm just going to increase this frame rate up to like 630 something like that. Okay, all good so far. So the first thing we want to do in mine now, let's just get this out of the way, is to bring in our footage so we can actually see what this is all looking like. So we're going to go to the camera and we're going to create image sequence and I'm going to browse to the folder and we can see that this frame starts at zero and goes all the way down to 627 okay so I'm going to hit open there right so there we go we've got the camera to switch image sequence on and I'm going to scroll through and as you can see um, let's just try and line this up a little bit just so you can see the issue oh, whatever um, and let's just lower the opacity down on this a little bit. So you can see that this is moving all over the place, and it's not it's not the sort of half decent track that I had in After Effects. Okay. Um, so there's a reason for this. So I've got my frame rate set to 25 FPS, and in After Effects. Uh, if we just go up to composition, composition settings, we can see that we are also set to 25 FPS. Duration at 6 to 8, 25 FPS. But in Maya, if I select the camera, so we know that we've got 627 frames. Yeah. But if I scroll this along to frame 627, we can see that we've still got all these frames here. Now where did they come from? So that's telling me that we've got 627 frames of footage in Maya, but over 650 frames of camera data, which isn't possible because I've only tracked 627 frames in After Effects. So the problem comes down to an issue between After Effects and Maya. Um, and it's a really simple workaround. I don't know. I, I have not been able to find anything online about this at all. Probably because not a lot of people use After Effects for 3D tracking and then bring it back to Maya. But if you are one of those people, then hopefully you'll come across this video and I fixed it for you, which I do like to do. Um, so the simplicity of it is. Let's just get the uh, outline of the camera selected again. I'm just going to scale this down so we can keep it in view. So we can see we're at 627 frames there. 
Now if I change this to say, I don't know, 30 FPS, we can see that our frame range has changed. So what if I knock it down from 25 to 24 FPS? Okay. So now when I go to 627, we get to the end of the frame range, which is correct. So it's starting in the right place and it's ending in the right place. And that is just a mental bug because After Effects is saying it's 25 frames a second and Maya is saying, nah, this is 24 frames a second. Um, and it's nothing to do with me rendering out this clip because it's an image sequence and it was brought into After Effects and as you can see, interpolated at 25 FPS also. So that is not the issue. And now, we can see that our object is sticking to the footage as it should do. So there's a little tip for you. Hopefully that helps if uh, any of you come across these issues. I am going to start to uh, track a bunch of different footage, um, either in Synthfires or After Effects or whatever. And I'm going to start selling them. So I'll put links in the description if any of you uh, aren't into 3D tracking and you want some 3D track scenes to play around with. Um, so the footage will be there and the camera data from uh, whatever package it is will be there and the Maya scene. Um, it will be cheap. It just helps me carry on doing these a little bit. But uh, So yeah, hopefully that sorts it out for you. So remember to hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm going to be back soon with some more videos. Cheers guys.